Hello everyone, my name is Shaque. I will be a guest chef um, working with the Sylvia Center, helping out with bringing you some videos, maybe even some classes. So before you know, you see all the new content that I'll be helping to produce and provide, um, why don't you get to know a little bit about me? I'm a New Yorker born and raised, and ever since I was a kid, I knew I wanted to be in food. I would always be in the kitchen when my grandmother was cooking or my mother was cooking. And lucky for me, my older brother, who's a chef, um, he would, you know, bring me to like whatever he would work in at a restaurant or a hotel. He would invite me into the kitchen. So I would be like a little girl, maybe like five or six in the big kitchens and just walking around and just was amazed. So it was something that was ingrained in me since, you know, I was young. And then as I got older, I would like put on little dinner parties for my friends in like junior high and high school. And then when it came time, you know, while you're in high school to pick a career that you want to do, it was something that came naturally. I was like, I'm going to be a chef. This is what I've always wanted to do. Um, I picked out schools that I wanted to go to. I applied. I got into Johnson & Wales, which was my first choice. And then I went to Rhode Island and started school there. And that's basically where my culinary, professional culinary um, career began. So going to Johnson & Wales opened me up to a lot of different professions within the culinary field that I had no idea existed. Um, while I was there, uh, I learned about the nutrition program that they had. So being that I love science, like when I was in high school and junior high, I was a big science fan. Um, it was a natural progression to get my major, um, get my degree in culinary nutrition, which is what I did. So after graduating Johnson & Wales, I um, worked in a variety of different um, fields within the culinary industry. I've worked in kitchens, in restaurants, in hotels, in corporate cafeterias. I've done work in food styling, food photography, food writing, worked on cookbook photo shoots. Um, I've worked um, for many years as a private chef. Um, and all of this just to, you know, I love doing all of these things because it keeps me creative, keeps my job fun. Um, and I've also done work as, you know, a culinary instructor. My view is, you know, people have passed down their knowledge to me and make, you know, my life easier you know, with different techniques that I've learned. So it would be selfish of me to hold that in. Why not share it with other people? My favorite thing about cooking, I would have to say, is the reaction and the joy that I feel, you know, taking the time to make a dish and knowing that it's appreciated by my guests. Um, it's weird because I'm not a big fan of cooking for myself because it doesn't feel that same void, but cook for anyone else, it's like a joy and it makes me happy. Um, my favorite thing about eating is probably like that same thing, you know, when you taste, you know, different ingredients that you wouldn't think that would go together or, you know, even a comfort food, like my favorite comfort food, well, I have a couple. Um, my, I like ice cream, which is weird, especially when it's cold out. Um, I love like potatoes, like mashed potatoes or French fries. Um, what else do I like as a comfort food? Uh, probably the food that I kind of, I most grew up with. My family is from the American Southeast, um, from the Carolinas and growing up like soul food was always you know every holiday we had soul food whether it was cornbread you know fried chicken macaroni and cheese collard greens like that's a great comfort food and like i have it so um not as oft not that often maybe a couple of times a year so when i eat it, it's like oh this is like home um <laughs> and foods that i eat to feel healthy i don't have a go-to healthy food uh, my motto is I like to eat things in moderation. Um, eating so much of one thing isn't healthy. And the good thing is I like a variety of things and I don't like to be bored. So I just eat, you know, totally different things. 
you know, foods from different cultures and ethnicities. Um, and yeah, that's what I love. My first food memory or thing that I remembered being cooked, I would probably have to say maybe some sort of like soul food that my grandmother made. I was often at my grandmother's house when I was young, so, and her meeting point was the kitchen, so everyone was always in the kitchen, and I would always just like watch her, you know, be on the stove and just whip up something. First thing I remember cooking, and it wasn't half bad, is I think it was like fettuccine alfredo, and I made the cream sauce from scratch. I was definitely in junior high, and I know if I made, like, if I had that dish now, I'm like, oh, this stuff probably sucks, <laughs> but it was so good to me at the time, and I just from like, oh, this isn't bad, like, I could do this. Um, yeah, that was probably my, the first time I remember, like, thinking, you know, other than, like, you know, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or pancakes, that was a dish I was like, oh, wow, I have some skills, like, I think I put broccoli and like chicken in it and I was very impressed with myself. Some ingredients that I always have in my pantry, my house, um, my kitchen, um, I always have eggs. I love eggs. Um, I feed them fried any kind of way, you know, on top of things. Um, so it will be eggs, um, beans, whether it's you know, black beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, anything in the legume family I have a ton of because an another thing that I love eating. Um, so like eggs, beans. Um, I always have bread in my freezer, you know, because I still love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or, you know, I'll have a, a taste for avocado toast. And what else? Probably butter. Yeah, I use, I like butter and like, you know, with my eggs or with my bread. Uh, so yeah, those things are always, always in my house. So with celebrations within my family, you know, soul food, it's always what's on the menu. Um, like I said, we, I grew up, my family, both sides are from the Carolinas and that's the food that we hardly get outside of, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving or even Easter. Um, also, we're big on desserts. Like we love like cakes from scratch or desserts from scratch. So like I always like make banana pudding or a pound cake or chocolate cake or red velvet. Like those things are like staples. I don't know what I would consider my signature dish to be. Um, Cause I like to cook a variety of things from all over the world. I'm a huge traveler. I've been to about 20 countries and I get inspiration from like all of the countries. I feel like right now my signature would probably be, be um, mixing like American soul food with like Thai, Southeast Asian food. That's probably my signature, like that genre. Not a specific dish, but just mixing those two techniques to, you know, make a dish.